Uh, I have to do laundry. <laughs> Uh, that actually wasn't as bad as I thought. All right, that really wasn't as bad as I thought. I guess it never is. I mean, I didn't do like a ton of laundry. I just did a little bit, so time to get to work. Oh, all right, just finished up <laughs> one like client meeting for these barn doors that I have to make. And uh, I'm really bad at math, I'm, like really bad at it. Not that I like can't do it. I have slight dyslexia. And so all my numbers end up just getting <laughs> twist turned around. Like at first I was doing the math and stuff and I came up with this number. And then I realized I had switched a couple of the board numbers. And then I came up with this number and I was like, okay, that sounds more accurate. One of the main reasons why I stopped doing client work was this. Just like running all the numbers, figuring out everything I need. <laughs> talking with the clients, meetings and stuff. And it was just, I got into woodworking for freedom. I got into woodworking so I could just make whatever I wanted and uh, clients ruin that. Clients take away a lot of freedom when it comes to woodworking, but I really do enjoy it. I enjoy making custom pieces. I enjoy, I do enjoy working with clients, but it's just a lot. These uh, couple of jobs end up working out pretty well, then I might keep going. All right, just dropped the girl off at school. Me and the boy. <laughs> are on our way to Harbor Freight. I gotta grab some pin nails and then get to work. Hey Jax, what does Pikachu say? Also, I got out all of my invoices. Sent out five invoices today. A lot of invoices, that's kind of crazy. All right, got what we came for at the goods and uh, now we're heading home. Back in the shop. I guess I can't even say back. I haven't even been in here yet today. Um, in the shop. I gotta finish that, that non-negotiable. Um, what else did I say? This is why we write down our goals, people. I don't remember what I wanted to get done today. Okay, I got this one done. Sent my quotes out. That's great. This guy, non-negotiable, finish that. So I'm gonna do that right now. I don't know that I'm gonna get to these because I got some packages today. <laughs> and I know what they're for, and I totally, totally forgot. I have a wedgie sled I have to make. Totally forgot about that. It doesn't have to go out anytime soon, but like within 10 days, but I'd rather just get it done tomorrow and ship it out Monday. That's going on the goal list for tomorrow. But I also like, so what's in here is, um, I've got some T-Track in here and some knobs and stuff. So that's for, the wedgie sled. But what I'm really excited about is this. This is Aura Mask. And this is gonna be great for making signs and stuff. You just put it on top of the piece of wood that you want and it'll cut it out, hopefully without ripping this stuff. And then you can just paint it. I'll, I'll show you guys in a later video, but I'm excited to have this. Also, main consensus on the CNC. I had a couple of people reach out to me on Instagram and tell me to flatten my bed, my spoil board. So I gotta do that, but I need a bit for it. So I did reach out to one company that I've been talking to, um, Spec Tools. They haven't responded yet. I'll give it usually like a day or two. And then if they don't wanna work with me, then I will reach out to another company because I'd like to get this bit for free. It's not like a super expensive bit. It's, it's an opportunity for me, A, to get in the door with a company and B, to make some good content around it for them and for me. Win-win. All right, let's get this bad boy sanded up and finished. And I just picked up these pin nails for my pin nailer. And then I realized I grabbed the wrong nails. These are finishing nails. So they have this little head on them. And that's not what I want. It's not gonna work. Ugh. Oh well, I'm gonna keep these because I do plan on getting the uh, wireless 18 gauge nailer.
This is a little bit uh, crazier than what I had planned, but I think this thing is gonna look cool. I think what it needs though is this neck needs to be skinnier still. I think if I make this skinnier, it won't be so top heavy. But I really wanted to do one with like a super long neck. So yeah, we're gonna make this skinnier, leave this base just like it is, and see how it comes out. And I was thinking about it. <sighs> this thing is gonna be gnarly on the lathe. Like even at my slowest setting, it's so heavy it's gonna be kind of crazy. So I kind of thought, what if I just cut these pieces out so I have the general shape and then turn it? Is that too crazy or would that work? I just don't know. And I don't know that my bandsaw could even do that. these bad boys done or this bad boy done i don't know this bad boy <laughs> this is such a crazy wacky piece i think um but the wood in it is just insane so got that guy got that guy done and got this guy done so awesome all we got to do tomorrow is this bad boy all right got my goals down only three super simple goals because I have a busy day tomorrow. I'm hoping to be able to get my butt up in the morning and get out here early because I just have a lot to do tomorrow outside of the shop, which is great. I'm also going camping with my boy. So you guys will see that it's his first camping trip. So I'm pretty excited. He's super excited. It's gonna be a lot of fun, but that's it for me. So be good, be safe, be happy, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.